becomes the best manager. No. force field the immune system aura tells you when your temperature is higher than normal live smarter stronger healthier with the aura ring billy joel the hundredth live from madison square garden will continue this is cbs forget the old saying april showers brings may flowers because from now on it's april trials brings me smiles new cold air monday on cbs CBS Thursday has that good stuff all night long. You're darn tootin' we do. I, 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 <laughs> New episodes of Young Sheldon, Ghosts, So Help Me Todd, and Elsbeth. Are you with the police? I think so. CBS Thursday night. All new, starting at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. One who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scoop to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always serve with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious! Looks like it was crafted by a master carpenter. And it's just $9.99 every day. Every day? Every day. But not every day. Every day. Noise. When the looks you love go for less, there's only one thing to say. Oh, my Bob! Bob's Discount Furniture. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Need cleaning supplies? Menards carries top brands like Dawn, Tide, and Bounty. Right now, receive $10 instant savings with a purchase of $40 or more on qualifying Procter & Gamble products. Soften your water with Diamond Crystal. It's perfect to help minimize water softener tank residue while helping soaps and detergents clean better and increases the life of your appliances. A 50-pound bag is $5.89 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. Tonight on News 3 Now attend a historic attack in the Middle East. Israel is now weighing how to respond the day after Iran launched more than 300 missiles and drones toward Israeli territory. Plus, a family speaks out after a tragic event tonight at 10. Start your evening with News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, uncovering the stories and getting to the heart of events and issues that matter here. And when bad weather is on the way, we warn you first. News 3 Now at 6. Moving forward, weeknights. We're tracking alert day conditions on your Tuesday. Details at 10. The audience at the Garden is explosive, contagious, loud, magical, inexhaustible, extraordinary, second to none. It's like a warm blanket. Hi, my name is Tommy Burns, and I play guitar. I'm David Rosenthal, keyboardist and musical director. I'm Andy Sishon, I play bass. I'm Crystal Talaferro, I play percussion. My name's Carl Fisher, I play trumpet. My name is Mike Del Judas, I play guitar. I'm Chuck Bergen, play drums. I'm Mark Rivera, and I play saxophone with Billy Joel. I want to thank Madison Square Garden. Thanks to the Garden. New York City. New York City. New York City. And Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. William Martin Joel. Thank you, Billy Joel. What a ride.
maybe I should buy some old tab collars. Welcome back to the age of child. Oh, well, if you've been hiding out lately, honey, you can't trust trash. It is spend a lot of money. Everybody's talking about the new sap funny, but it's still rock and roll to me. What's the matter with the car I'm driving? It's a tail light inside the sky. Should I get a set of white wall tires? Are you gonna cruise a mirror? No, my. Nowadays you can't be too sentimental. Your dress makes you true. I'm running Boston to make sure childbirth is safe for all moms everywhere. I'm one of thousands of runners running to beat things bigger than the clock. To help more kids outrun cancer, help amputees walk again, and maybe even run. Thousands of runners, thousands of reasons to run. Find a runner, help a cause. Give if you can. When you're traveling with three kids and pretty much everything they own... Hi, guys. Welcome. It matters where you stay. <laughs> Hilton for the stay. Skin craving next level hydration? New Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Cream. A vital boost of nine times more hydration to boost your skin's barrier for quenched, dewy skin that's full of life. Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Feeling healthy by leaps and bounds. Making a dinner that makes their whole day and giving your best friend the best nutrients for their best life. Science did that. We're Ram, and when trucks are what you do, you do truck month better than anyone else. You do trucks that work harder and play harder. And you do trucks that win by breaking every rule of what a truck should be. So this truck month, what you should do is drive a Ram. Trucks are what we do.
During Ram Truck Month, get new rollback manufacturer's pricing with lower starting MSRPs plus 1,000 bonus cash on 2024 Ram Heavy Duty Trucks. To the Equalizer. Find out why over 60 million people made Tracker TV's number one new show. I'm really glad they didn't kill you. Wow, that's so sweet of you. A new Tracker next Sunday after the Equalizer. All new CBS Spring on CBS. See why everyone is talking about the CBS original Fire Country. Gotta love this job. TV's hottest show. We're out of time. Fire's here. Go, go, go! New episode Friday, April 26th on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. With Spectrum Mobile's Anytime Upgrade, you get to upgrade your phone anytime you want for free, which means you get the best, latest and greatest, most up-to-date technology out there. So say you want a bigger screen, less screen, more storage, less storage, doesn't matter, any color, you can upgrade anytime. And who wouldn't want that? Except for Ryan. And that's a life choice. That's respect. I gotta get back to this. Yeah. Don't wait to upgrade your phone. Get Anytime Upgrade, included with Unlimited Plus from Spectrum Mobile. The Portage Furniture Store, with free delivery on brands you know and trust.
Three now with 10 for the first time. A family speaking out after a Middleton man on the run barricaded himself in their home and killed himself in their basement. The details on the tragic incident that left multiple people dead coming up. Moderate to severe Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis? Talk to your doctor about number one prescribed Entivio. Doctors have been prescribing Entivio for nearly 10 years. Infusion and serious allergic reactions can happen during or after treatment. Entivio may increase risk of infection, which can be serious. PML, a rare, potentially fatal brain infection, cannot be ruled out. Tell your doctor if you have an infection, flu-like symptoms, sores, or are prone to infections. Liver problems can occur. Entivio, relief, remission for real. Entivio, Entivio, Entivio. Under the sun, more than just the sun is shining Under the sun, I'll be full young and love are pining Under the sun Fair, freckled, or melanated, we are appreciated Ultra hydrated, glazed and glowing Confidence overflowing Vaseline lotions, 90% more moisture for my one-of-a-kind skin And there's no other skin I want to be in April Trials Brings me smiles. New Monday on CBS. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
It's nine o'clock on a Saturday A regular crowd shuffles in There's an old man sitting next to me Making love to his tonic and gin Pretty good crowd for a Thursday And the manager gives me a smile Cause he knows that it's me they've been coming to see To forget about life
We're cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. He killed himself. Plus, tensions in the Middle East are escalating. The latest on the Israel-Iran conflict now taking place. And we're following the Special Olympics National Basketball Tournament in Madison. That's all coming up on News 3 Now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the Albion family who were trapped inside their home last week as a gunman barricaded himself in the basement. Now, this was the scene on Ramsey Road just off of Highway 51 Wednesday night. The aftermath of a trail of violence that began with the murder of 32-year-old Tana Pope in Dubuque County, Iowa, and ended in the death of her 13-year-old daughter here in Dane County. As the leading Dane County Sheriff's deputies on a pursuit, the suspect in Pope's death, 38-year-old Alexander Grunke, forced his way into a family's home where he later took his own life. Our Brainer Ross spoke with this family for the first time this morning. Take a look. Natasha Iverson and her family have spent years on this quiet country road here in Albion. They have a home, a small business here. But last week, the place that was always their safe space became a crime scene. This is the Ramsey Road Natasha Iverson is used to. But Wednesday night, a phone call from her fiance, Chad, changed everything. The phone call probably changed the whole yeah. ending of the story. On his way home that night, he found a state patrol officer blocking his way. He's screaming at me, and uh, I can't probably say what I said to the guy, but I told him to shut up and tell me what the is going on and that's when he screamed there's an active shooter on Washington Road. Chad immediately called Natasha. She was home with their two-year-old son and her 16-year-old daughter. No idea of the chaos unfolding just outside her home. I said just get the doors locked and, and uh, hide. I called my daughter up and I told her to uh, run up, take your brother upstairs and lock yourself in a room. That's when I just went down to the patio door with my dogs and there, you know, you move the curtain and there he was. She was face to face with a nightmare. I did not see his face, nothing, just his legs and his gun. For 30 harrowing minutes, Natasha and her kids waited to be rescued from the home while Grunky was downstairs firing at random intervals. Uh, it's only trying to clear a house right now uh, on Ramsey Road. That was the hardest wait. I think, especially for my daughter. I mean, it was for me too, but you have to be a mom too. Eventually, Dane County Sheriff's deputies were able to get them out. They had to jump from a second story window. He just kind of fall down, but he caught. It was must have been a tall man. I remember his face. I'll never forget it. For seven more hours, the man who shattered their peace remained barricaded in that basement. When Sheriff's deputies finally entered the home, they found him dead of apparent suicide. <laughs> Now, Natasha and her family are left to pick up the pieces. Glass was broken throughout the lower level and bullet holes filled the walls. There's going to be a lot of fixing and work. Hoping maybe one day Ramsey Road can be their safe place once more. Reporting in Albion, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Natasha is still running her family-owned dog kennel just down the street from their home on Ramsey Road. If you'd like to help this family with their recovery expenses, mental health care, cleaning, you can find a link to their GoFundMe online on our website at channel3000.com. A 37-year-old Beaver Dam man was seriously injured after crashing his motorcycle in a field in Calamus early this morning. Police arrived at the field off of our road just after 1 a.m. 
where an individual who lives in the area found the motorcycle and driver and called 911. Life-saving measures were performed for about eight minutes to revive the driver. Responders took the man to Marshfield Medical Center. He was then taken to UW Health in Madison by helicopter with life-threatening injuries. Officials say alcohol is believed to be a factor. In Calamus as well, last night a 23-year-old Middleton man was arrested after leading officers on a high-speed chase. Dan Dodge County police started following a white BMW northbound on U.S. Highway 151 near East Salem Road for a speeding violation. The pursuit continued just over 28 miles into Fond du Lac County. The vehicle reached speeds of over 130 miles per hour and almost struck several motorists. The Wisconsin State Highway Patrol was eventually able to stop the vehicle. The man was taken into custody for fleeing officers and has been charged with recklessly endangering safety in the second degree. The Wisconsin DNR is asking people to avoid all outdoor fires through the end of this weekend. Most counties in southern Wisconsin are listed by the state agency as high risk of fire danger. On windy, dry, em on windy or dry days, embers from any fire, especially burn piles and campfires, can easily get out of control and cause a wildfire if not properly extinguished. According to the Wisconsin DNR, 37 fires burned roughly 300 acres yesterday. This is the single most active wildfire day of the year so far. And I certainly hope you guys were all able to get outside today because it was absolutely beautiful weather and it was pretty warm to say the least. Let's get a look at your first one forecast. Buddy, what can we expect for the week ahead? Yeah, Jalen, it was actually very warm today. We actually exceeded our high by uh, a couple of degrees at 82 degrees today, but we do have a change in store in the forecast. We do have an alert day that will begin on Tuesday for a severe weather threat. Let's take a look at that graphic if we can full screen and this is for all of southern Wisconsin for the possibility of high winds, hail and an isolated tornado. And originally we had thought yesterday that this was going to be a Tuesday event. Now that the system has slowed down just a little bit, it looks like it's going to be Tuesday afternoon and evening and taking a look at the severe weather outlook for your Tuesday. Yesterday when we showed you this map, we showed you that Madison and Point South were in a slight risk. Now Madison is mostly in a marginal risk with the slight risk down towards Monroe. Platteville, Dubuque, Prairie du Chien, and also over in Iowa. Temperatures, look at these temperatures, 80 degrees today, and then for your day for tomorrow, look for highs to get up into the upper 60s coming up in Maine weather. We'll track that storm system on your Tuesday and let you know what to expect in the rest of the week. All right, sounds good, buddy. We'll see you then. Nine technical colleges throughout Wisconsin have received $5.75 million grants from the U.S. Department of Labor. One of those schools is Western Technical College. Out of the $5.75 million, Western Technical College will receive $2.2 million to allocate towards education and manufacturing. The grant is focused on creating short-term credentials within their advanced manufacturing programs. But you may be asking yourself, what are short-term credentials? They're generally post-secondary programs requiring fewer than two years of schooling. What we're trying to do is two things. We're trying to create pathways for students to come into our programming, get one or two short-term credentials and be able to enter the workforce and dive right into the work. And the other? For incumbent workers who are looking to maybe pursue further education in advanced manufacturing. If students already have some levels of education or competencies, they can enroll in the program and get credits making it easier to graduate sooner. If you get a, an educational pathway at Western, it's going to be very similar or the same as the educational pathway at CBTC. Wallace says the grant will impact both staff members and students. It'll be an opportunity to increase collaboration at the instructor level between colleges, which is always a win. The grant money will be distributed to the nine recipient colleges over the next four years. Sportsmanship was undeniable at Backy Recreation and Wellbeing Center in Madison today. The UW Chapter for Special Olympics hosted a national basketball tournament off Observatory Drive. Teams of people with and without intellectual disabilities took to the basketball court to promote inclusion. The Badger team took on Iowa, Oregon, Regis, and Louisiana in a unified division of people. They want to just promote inclusion and promote the message that everyone belongs and everyone has a chance to play sports. This is the first year of a three-year stretch the UW program will host the basketball tournament. If you'd like to get involved with Special Olympics, head to their website. There's a number of ways you can volunteer for the organization. And next on News 3 Now with 10, a new report on inflation just dropped. 
what you can expect for your wallet at the gas tank and the grocery store on our latest Consumer Reports. Plus, how the U.S. is reacting to a historic attack in the Middle East, the latest on the heightening tension between Israel and Iran after the break. Cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. Lottery retailers all around the state are lighting up with the latest limited time offer. It's all or nothing bonus days. During the month of April, all or nothing players have a one in seven chance to receive a $2 bonus ticket for the next midday drawing. This electric offer is only available for a limited time and only at Wisconsin Lottery retailers. Because for 54 years, they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. In 2016, Donald Trump ran to overturn Roe v. Wade. Now, in 2024, he's running to pass a national ban on a woman's right to choose. I'm running to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again, so women have a federal guarantee to the right to choose. Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I do. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Cause we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, you can get 2.99% APR for 60 months on a new 2024 Toyota Camry. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Everyone deserves a fulfilling job, but for people with disabilities, the barriers can be overwhelming. It's time to open the door to new possibilities. People with disabilities are getting the education, skills, and training needed to thrive in a wide variety of industries. And they're ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. Thinkability Wisconsin. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower, so he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. The Jennifer Hudson Show. Bellas, I'm like, hey, I mean Garcia. <laughs> Nikki and Brie Garcia prove how powerful they really are. How you like the adjustment? It's been really empowering. Plus, find your power and financial freedom. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Moving forward. Israel is weighing how to respond a day after Iran launched drones and missiles directly towards Israeli territory in a historic attack. The Israeli defense forces say most of the weapons were intercepted. As CBS's Christian Benavidez reports, the U.S. is looking to de-escalate the situation. Yeah. New video released by Israeli Defense Forces shows how fighter jets intercepted Iranian drones and missiles headed towards Israel. In all, 99% of weapons were intercepted by Israel, the U.S., the United Kingdom, and Jordan as they lit up the night sky. Iran and its proxies launched approximately 350 suicide drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles and rockets from Iran, Iraq, Yemen, and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Look at the size and the scale, the scope of what they fired at Israel from Iran proper. You know, more than 300 missiles and drones. They wanted to cause damage, no question about that. But they were utterly unsuccessful in doing so. Following the attack, President Joe Biden held a phone call with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. CBS News has learned Biden told Netanyahu that the U.S. would not participate in a reprisal strike on Iran. The president's made it clear we're not looking for a war with Iran, we're not looking for a broader regional conflict, and everything we've been doing since the 7th has been designed to prevent that outcome. President Biden met with other G7 leaders via teleconference Sunday over Iran's unprecedented attack, which was in response to an Israeli airstrike to Iran's embassy in Syria. Biden is under increasing pressure over Israel's response in Gaza to the October 7th attack and is hoping to avoid escalation to a wider regional conflict. 
A CBS News poll done prior to the Iranian strikes showed just 33% of Americans approve of President Biden's handling of the conflict. Christian Benavides, CBS News. Iran's mission to the UN wrote on social media they do not plan any further attacks and warn the US not to get involved. United Airlines is beginning to cancel flights to the Middle East following the Iranian attack. At least three flights from Newark to Tel Aviv were canceled today and yesterday. Flight status details tell passengers your flight is canceled due to unrest in the Middle East. Major media organizations are urging President Biden and former President Trump to hold debates before November's election. About a dozen organizations posted an open letter today. The letter notes that general election debates have, quote, played a vital role in every presidential election of the past 50 years, dating to 1976. The unusual move comes amid uncertainty over whether the two candidates will face off on stage ahead of the vote. Groups that signed the letter include CNN, Fox News, C-SPAN, and NPR. A new government report shows inflation continues to climb on top of already high prices. Bradley Blackburn looks at what's driving up those costs. Gas prices are creeping up again. AAA says the national average for regular unleaded is up 22 cents a gallon in the past month, forcing many drivers to shift their expenses. Making sure that we actually consider gas as a part of our budget now. It's not just gas. Overall prices jumped 3.5 percent in March, up from 3.2 percent in February. Definitely a disappointing report. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says the increase was driven by energy costs and stubbornly high rent prices, which are up 5.7% in the past year. Those two categories together accounted for over half of the increase. Price hikes at the grocery are slowing down, but years of high inflation have taken a toll. A trip to the supermarket in 2019 that cost $100 now has shoppers shelling out around $133. The new report is a bit of a one-two punch for consumers. Not only are everyday essentials more, but the cost of borrowing money for a home or car is expected to remain expensive. The Federal Reserve increased interest rates over the past two years to slow the economy and lower inflation. Economists believed if prices drop this year, the Fed could start cutting rates this summer. But that expectation is changing. A rate drop, a cut, is certainly off the table for the May meeting, probably the June meeting. I'm guessing perhaps the July meeting, unless things really improve. Schlesinger says many experts are now forecasting the first cut may not come until September. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Another thing that was up today were the temps in Madison. Let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Yeah, that's right, Jalen. We did have temperatures in the 80s today, which we were two degrees from tying a record set back in 2006. And that mild weather is going to continue tomorrow, albeit a little bit cooler before things start to change on your Tuesday. Let's take a look at the three things you need to know. We're going to have another mild day on your Monday to start your work weekend off to school. We are tracking alert day conditions on your Tuesday that I mentioned at the first weather. Um, these will be for some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong to severe. We'll break that down in just a moment. Then after the alert day, we do have some cooler weather on the way. So if you are a fan of the cooler weather over the warmer weather, you're definitely going to like the end of the week forecast. We do have an alert day in the forecast for all of southern Wisconsin for the possibility of high winds, hail, and an isolated tornado. Again, the isolated tornado threat looks to be further south towards the Illinois and Wisconsin state borders. And this is for Tuesday afternoon and evening. Some of the latest models have shown the system actually slowing down. So yesterday we were talking about Tuesday as the event. Now it looks like it's going to be in the afternoon, evening, and overnight hours for Tuesday. Taking a look at future tracks, starting out at 6 o'clock in the morning as you're headed off to work or school, 46 degrees here in Madison. It's actually going to be very beautiful, just a little bit brisk, so you might need a light jacket as you head out the door. As we move on into your lunch hour, 65 degrees, and then into your evening as well, just some scattered high-level clouds with temperatures in the upper 60s. Now, after that, we move into your, or, excuse me, your Tuesday morning, and we start to see the increasing cloud cover off to 
the west and that is when we are looking at the severe weather potential for your Tuesday. Now yesterday when we showed this map, we showed Madison and points south as a slight risk that has actually shifted and been trimmed a little bit. So now it's points of Monroe, Platteville and Dubuque. Madison is in a marginal risk. So let's break that down and we're going to start future track at around noon. So uh, nothing is going to develop hopefully before the noon hour on your Tuesday. But if you go into your Tuesday afternoon, you can see scattered showers and thunderstorms do develop off to the west. That will continue into your 8 o'clock hour. So roughly around the 6 to 8 o'clock hour, we could see stronger to severe storms across Dane County. And we'll have to continue to watch that as we move on into the evening hours. Tuesday night, the scattered showers and thunderstorms will continue. And some of this will produce some heavy precipitation as we move on into the evening. And then we might have some more scattered showers and thunderstorms storms as we head on into your Wednesday. So some of the complexity regarding this cloud cover and rain in the morning that will stabilize the atmosphere and prevent the severe weather from happening. Winds off Lake Michigan. The winds are going to be off of Lake Michigan on your Tuesday. So that is going to lower the temperatures. And with that, when we don't have enough daytime heating, we don't have enough of that lift that can prevent storms from getting into the strong and severe uh, categories. So the bottom line is severe storms are possible Tuesday. The risk moves a little bit further south and we do have that heavy rain possible. Taking a look at your seven to 10 day forecast after the alert day on your Tuesday, we will continue to see cooler weather as we head on into your Thursday and Friday and then look at Saturday's temperatures highs only in the 40s for your Saturday and then getting back up into the 50s by your Sunday. Today was a tad bit warm, but the weather that we saw Saturday, yeah. perfect. Yeah, that was picture perfect. If we can get back to that, it's going to be a, a great time here in Madison. We'll, we'll get back to that soon enough. So what, what's your favorite kind of weather? Uh, actually, what we had today, 80 really? degrees. Yep. I'm, more, I'm more of a fall guy. Yep. All right, oh, well, I like fall too. Yeah, I'm a fall guy. Well, sounds good. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> You're welcome. And coming up next in sports, Andrew brings us, Andrew Bancher brings us a story on how a father introducing his daughter to the game of golf unlocked a new love of hers. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Want to instantly look more attractive years younger? The solution is whiter teeth, but you love coffee, tea, wine, or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered power swabs. One friend was like, your teeth look like really white. Did you do anything to it? And I was like, I did. <laughs> I did power swabs. Power swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first five minute application. Better yet, after a week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power swabs are easier on your gums and cause less sensitivity. I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth. With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> Over 500,000 people have already seen incredible results. Now it's your turn to get started with power swabs. I like my smile. This is a power swab smile. Call or go online to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. Plus get free shipping. Save big at Hy-Vee. Get blueberries or blackberries for just $1.77. 
our special recipe brats or patties, eight for just $12. Plus get a 16 cent fuel saver. Buy two, get two free on eight pack bottles or 12 pack cans of 7-Up products. And get Lay's potato chips, kettle cooked chips or rolled gold pretzels, just two fifty dollars each when you buy three. Get these great deals and more, April 15th through the 30th, only at Hy-Vee. Justin, what are some of the common concerns when it comes to replacing windows and doors? Homeowners want to know the project timeline, if their installers are properly trained, and that their home will be taken care of. And how does Next Door and Window take the worry out of the project? Our installers are factory trained and certified and will leave your home immaculate. And most projects can be completed in just one day. Call now and get 50% off installation on windows and doors and 24 months interest-free financing. The Bucks looking to wrap up the regular season and secure the number two seat today against the Magic down on Orlando. Let's see if they can get it done. Dame Lillard back in action after missing the last few games. First quarter, Bucks up 18 to 14. Dame takes the screen, drives right, misses the layup, but that's all right. Big Brook Lopez with the putback slam. And now we head to the second. Bucks down nine. Chris Middleton shoots. He'd miss. Brook Lopez with the rebound, fakes the pass, and drives back for another putback slam. But in the end, the Magic would pull away and just be too much for the Bucks to handle. 113 to 88 is your final. And now the and now the Bucks start at the season 30 and 13 under coach Adrian Griffin. And now under Doc Rivers, they've gone 19 and 20. The Bucks finished the regular season 49 and 33 and will enter the postseason as a three seed. And they'll take on the Tyrese Halliburton led Pacers. The Brewers are 10 and 3 and off to one of their best starts in years and currently on a four game win streak. They're wrapping up their series in Baltimore to see if they can keep things rolling. And in the first inning, it looks as if they'll do just that. William Contreras is at bat and you know how Willie C does it. He hits this solo dinger where the kids can't get to it. And he's also on a 10 game hit streak. Crew up 1 0. Now we head to the top of the seventh game tied 3 3 and Blake Perkins at bat. And he'd take a swing and a shot of his own with another solo shot to put the crew up one. In the end, the Orioles would rally and take it all. Six to four, your final. And now we head to the links for the golf event of all golf events, the Masters. Scotty Scheffler would walk away with the green jacket for a second time in his career, winning by four shots, joining elite company for multi-time winner. Scheffler has been ranked the world's number one golfer for the past 80 weeks. The game of golf 